Okay. Okay, I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah. All right, well, I'm excited to see. Let's see. So, all right. So, what do we need to review that today? Uh, no. Uh, there are some issues with that. So, I want to, like, get some inputs on that. Okay. Is it in a branch somewhere? Or is it in a pull request? Or where, where can we find it? Uh, uh, it's actually in a branch, like uh, in a random branch, which I haven't pushed. OK, yeah, let's make sure I have access to that while I'm doing this here. And then um, we can, uh, and you could maybe get ready to present it too. Yep. Great. Oh my gosh, what the hell? This is like the world's most ridiculous looking merge conflict. Okay, come on now. So. happening here. Wow. All right, let's see what the hell happened here. It's like such a weird way for it to format this. Okay. And this is totally wrong. All right, so. What the hell was in here before? All right, well, good enough. Oh God, what is this? Okay, so. Oh yeah, we have location stuff here. So what was this? All we needed to do here was just say directory to location. Okay, let's check this out, see if everything is sane. So, and, and was this pretty much done? Like, did we need anything else on this? Or were we just, were we just like, why, why hadn't we merged this? Do you remember? I know we did it all in the meeting, so. Um... I don't know. Uh, you gave me the patch to try, and I tried the patch, and there was some error, and then you uh, oh. gave me the assumption. Uh, yeah, that's right. We needed to finish the. Um... Oh yeah. Okay, so we needed to finish the thing where. 
Okay, this is not going to get done in this meeting then. Um, so, because that was... Okay, I'm going to have to do this afterwards. Because um, this was the... Oh, man, yeah, okay. I think you tried it, Sakshom tried it, so now we're back to me trying it for the second time. Okay, all right, yeah, this thing was... It was the get, get at her and set at her thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Damn. All right. Okay. Damn. Not as easy as we thought. Okay. So I was hoping we were about to just merge this. Okay. What? I said I thought you had uh, tried it, so I didn't say anything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Yeah. No, I haven't had a chance. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking maybe we just needed to rebase the location stuff. I forgot about this. Um. Okay. So let's table this. Um, and then, because, yeah, so, let's see. Yeah, so let's do, let's meet Friday again, because I think, what, we're wrapping up GSOC next week, is it? I'm sorry? <clears throat> I'm sorry, is GSOC is wrapping up next week? Um. Let's see, August 16th. I think it's next to next week, 16 okay. to 23. Okay. Yeah, let's make sure we get enough input on your guys' stuff, if you have any. So we got basically three weeks. Um, okay. <coughs> you guys are all on, on track. So I don't think we'll have any major hiccups here, but, you know, I want to make sure that we get everybody, you know, anything that they need. So I'll make sure to get that done today, Hashim. Um, and if we don't get it done, ping me in the morning. Um, I will I will make sure to get it done ASAP in the next two days. I think this, once I get this demo, that should be pretty more free up here. So things have been, things have gotten extremely hectic. Um, so let's see, we're doing some sure, no modernization thing. Okay, so, all right, let me put in a, a reminder on my calendar. So, um, this is uh, uh, Google config setters and getters. Uh, I also wanted to ask something yeah. regarding multi output. Yeah. So, uh, the implementation of uh, multi output support on uh, the scorers that we implemented ourselves in BFFML uh, isn't really convincing. And uh, I don't think uh, that's the way to go. Like we are using uh, means of uh, accuracies of different predictions to, uh, you know, calculate the multi output uh, accuracy. And uh, if we are uh, using the same scorer from scikit uh, implementations, they give out uh, different uh, scores than uh, ours do, and uh, I can't really you know, follow their multi-output implementation. They're, they're using different scores inside scores, and it was getting messy. I was uh, going to ask if uh, you know we could uh, consider just using the scikit scores for. Uh, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah, I wanted All to right. talk about that too because I'm not convinced. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not convinced on the way that we have this right now. I'm concerned, or the scores in general. I'm concerned that um, that we that we don't specify what the feature is to score. I realize, and we're just inspecting the models predict. Um, I think I, I think we maybe need to specify the feature to the scorer itself, um, because I don't know. It it seems it seems like it seems like this is going to be prone to issues, especially if like now we have multi output and now features is all of a sudden a, a list. Like, what if a model wants to do something else with features, right? Like, we should really we should probably separate the connection between the model and the score a little more by specifying to the score what we want it to score, right? What 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 predicted feature um, we want it to score, right? Does that sound like reasonable to you guys? 
or do you think, I mean, Sudhanshu, you have more experience with this than the rest of us. So do you think that that we should leave it with the introspection for any strong reason or or are you do you think it, it are you are you open to the idea of adding a, a, a config parameter to the model scores? Um, you know, does, do you guys know what I'm saying? I think we did it with my... Uh, did it uh, with the I'm not sure how things will work out. Okay. So, Vim, examples, quick start. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what's the idea behind, uh, you know, specifying the feature. So... So you guys can see this, right? Yeah, OK. Um, all right, so I'm concerned that we're grabbing. I'm concerned that we're grabbing predict. Like, the, the I'm concerned that we're grabbing from the, from the parent model um, um, the, from the from the model config for you know for what essentially amounts to something that I that I think is that that would change right basically so what what happens with your patch Hashim is is uh, if we where was that the multi output right so your changes sort of make it apparent that this that 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 the the scores and the models are too intertwined right now. Right, because you now begin to inspect the model can predict to see if it's a features or if it's a singular feature, and now all this extra code just explodes. So basically, the code in each score is too tied into the models, is what I'm saying. I I, I believe, right? Because right now, you you we we this this the the change that you made resulted in a big change, not a big change, but like it resulted in quite a few lines added in the score, right? And it, and it showed that the, the functionality of the models is now too deeply tied to the functionality of the scores or the scores of functionality of the scores is the implementation of the scores is too deeply tied to the implementation of the model since we're introspecting the predict config of the model. So what I'm suggesting is that we do something like, um, like this, essentially, right? Where we just make this self dot parent, um, and so now the only dependency on the model becomes the prediction, and so we can ask, you know, we 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 have the score do. Um, let's see. Like this is where it's like okay, well, maybe we need to say label equals uh, model dot and yeah so I don't know predict or feature we should probably just say feature so I don't know this is where it's like that's now it's getting low I'm not sure what terminology to use here but uh, you see how now we end up with um, so so now it's like the, the functionality isn't so tied together right so if you had um, so, so now if you end up with a, a multi-output model, you could verify, right? Like, like feature only works. Like, let's see. So we're also gonna. There's also gonna be some. We we need to do some more input verification on on the config dictionaries and stuff. But we can. So safe, let's safely assume that you know. If we say feature, then, and somebody provides features, right, a list, then it would kick them out and not let them instantiate that classification accuracy, right? So they would have to use a multi-output specific classification accuracy score, right? Um, and that, you know, that 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 minimizes the amount of, um, you know, the 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 possibilities for issues with this score here, right? Um, because it's no longer tied into every single model and having to deal with, oh, well, what if this model does this, right? Well, it doesn't matter because we're just calling predict and then we're looking at the feature data. 
Does that? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Is this making? I any think sense? it's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to decide, and then this also sort of while we're talking about the yeah, scores. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Cool. Great. So while we're talking about the scores, you wanted to talk about renaming the accuracy function as something else. Um, so what we and, and you'd suggest it's score, um, and you'd suggest it's score. Uh, oh, and then the theme thing, but that's not a big deal. So basically, we'd looked at a few themes, and I like that one that you posted, Hashim. Um, so yeah, go check that out, Sutantra, if you get a chance. So, um, yeah, so score or evaluate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in favor of evaluate personally because I think we already have the record evaluation function, and and I'm not sure if I love that name for that either. <laughs> um, but score seems fine to me. Um, what do you, uh, is there a better name than score? Should we change it to score? Should we not change it to score? Um, what do you think? Sudhanshu, I, I'd like to hear your, your input on this because you've... Uh, I think we can keep it score as well. Okay. Because, yeah, the high level, and I mean, we can always, we can, yeah, let's see. So, uh, I love uh, scores with regard to different scores selected. Uh, let's see. I didn't understand that last sentence. These could also be a resultant value of error. What is that? Like, there's, like, if it throws an error or if there's some kind of actual no, error returned? Uh, basically, there are... Uh algorithms that uh, calculate the error, right? Error of your model. Mm -hmm. And they give out the value of the error that's uh, present in mm -hmm. the prediction. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think score is probably a better name here than, you know, I mean, score is what we've implemented the method to be already. So that, I don't think it strays too far from that. Um, and, and that's the term that Scikit uses. So let's, let's go ahead and, and change this. Um, do you want to edit the issue so that it, it says that we're going to change this um, to score? Thank you. Um, let's see. Oh, I can I can just edit it. So let's see. Um, uh, change. Rename high level. Let's just rename the high level function. Unless we should rename the whole thing to, I guess, scorer. We could, we could, let's rename the high level function right now and then we can focus on everything else later um, because we could move the accuracy directory to scorer and that would keep the command line flags consistent. Um, so, but it doesn't really matter too much right now. I think the main interface to this is, is the high level function. So rename high level accuracy to score. Does that sound good? All right. Okay. So let's um, make sure this. Yeah. Let's get this done here. So T zero. Oh, we definitely want that before the next release. So, um, yeah. Okay. Great. Um, oh, and it's already pinned. All right. Um, so let's try to get that done. Um, Anything else? So, so review reviewing this, I can't do right now. Um, not enough time. But I'll try to get to it, and I'll try to do the uh, the. I think this. Yeah. Let Let me know. I think there's some comments and stuff in here. I thought I saw some stuff that looked like it wasn't cleaned up. Like how, how. Yeah, yeah. the comments were just in the uh, the native uh, okay. implementations. And uh, I thought I'd uh, ask before making yeah, further changes. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'll, I'll remove it. It's the last comment. No, it's that's... the last commit. That sounds great. Okay. Um, so then what is your path forward on this then? So are you just going to score multiple? Are you going to score? Are you going to show multiple scores for multiple features that were predicted? Or are you going to do some sort of aggregate still? Or... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Um, 
so is your plan still to um, um, is your plan to show the score now that we've decided that it, and correct me if I'm wrong but it sounded like you're saying let's not try to implement um, or let's let's either implement separately or not implement right now scores for multi-output right uh, I said that uh, we can uh, just uh, use the scikit scores and, yes. and not have this maybe uh, implement into this one okay and with the scikit scores uh, do those are you going to score are you going to use different scikit scores to score different features um are you going to use the same score to score different features? Are you going to use one score to score multiple features? Um, or how is that going to work? Yeah, we're using uh, one score for multiple features. Okay. Okay. And is that does that require changes to the scikit scores? Uh, in just a second, let me move. Uh, your voice is breaking up. I think it's my internet. All right. Uh, does that does that require multiple? Can you repeat that? Does that require changes to multiple or to to the scores to make them support multi output? Uh, no, that doesn't require changes to multiple scores. Uh, I just changed the uh, base scikit score file. Okay, great. Okay. Cool. Um, and then we've. Did we decided that we need to add uh, some kind of config parameter to the scores. Um, we don't. Okay, uh, just a second. Right I'm a little bit confused. Yeah. Uh, do you mean uh, that uh, if we want to use multiple scores in the same scoring session or something? Uh, I mean, I was just trying to figure out what you were going to do, but it doesn't really matter because I'll see it once you do it. <laughs> so uh, it's it's uh, I'll I'll just review it when it when we get time for it. I I was just trying to understand what what your plan was, but it sounds like you have a plan, and and I'll see it when it's when it's ready here. So and, and I, it sounds right. So I was just trying to trying to ask if you were gonna if you were planning on use, using multiple scores, um, but it sounds like you're going to use the psychic scores and 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 you're going to use one score to pre to do the scoring on all of the predicted features, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I'm doing so far. Okay, and that sounds good. So, um, okay, uh, so, yeah, sorry, continue. Yeah, I, I meant that's uh, what I've uh, done already. Okay, oh, that's what you've done in here, so... Or yeah. Okay. Oh, and here's the changes. Okay. No, this is the okay. So wait. So where's the score changes? Okay, there we go. All right. So we're already good to go. So what? Okay. So you're gonna remove that comment. Are you going to leave the changes to the? Are you gonna leave the multi-output changes in the? Um, the base scores, the ones that aren't a part of the sky scikit scores? Uh, no, I'm going to remove uh, okay. the ones other than scikit scores. That sounds probably like a good idea there. Okay, so model type in regressor types. Okay. So, okay, you've got the test cases. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay, so I'll give you feedback on this. So this is no longer work in progress. This is basically you're ready to merge this if it's good. Uh, yeah, except Aside that from uh, the those changes. Changes you, yeah, the ones you just mentioned earlier. Okay, great. So uh, could could you? I think we are also uh, using. Sorry. Uh, just just remove the WIP and 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 comment that when you're ready so that I know exactly because right, um, yeah, that way I'm not I'm sure <laughs> cool cool uh, I think we are uh, also uh, we were also using uh, uh, yeah, the config predict uh, 
other than multi arc visible. Config predict. Okay. You mean in the scores? Uh, I think so. Uh, because that's why, uh, or maybe in the models. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. I'll just uh, do the uh, do okay. it. And yeah, just it let again. me know. Why don't, yeah, why don't you do, do finish the cleanup and then let me know the current status, you know, and and you know, comment and, yeah, and, sure. and ping me on Gitter too, so that I that I see. Because I yeah, when sure. I tried to clean up my GitHub notifications and then then we're doing this thing where we're trying to move to GitHub and so they have automation that's not entirely perfect in Intel and it keeps adding me to everybody's repos um, and so then I get a million notifications um, so sorry if I'm not seeing all right. things but no all right so Sudhanshu did you have something that you wanted feedback on right now yes I want to like share my screen okay great So I have actually created this operation input layer, which will uh, take all the data points and uh, the length of the source, and it will actually uh, create it into a matrix. So I have created a matrix here. So it will take all the inputs and add it into the uh, list. Okay. And uh, the way I'm doing here is in the seed, I'm actually providing all the values to the uh, input layer data point. So why are we doing this? I don't quite understand. Uh, so so basically we are, so uh, the operation, the cleanup operations actually work on matrix data, right? So for that, I have created this input layer which will take all the features, uh, feature data points, and it will convert it into a matrix so that uh, we can perform operations on them. So, for example, like uh, like if you have this operation, it actually takes this input data in the form of a list of lists. And the error I'm getting here is that uh, it is showing that it is not instantiable. Uh, okay, so okay, so I would say. If it's showing the current error, I would say it looks like an entry point registration issue. So uh, you need to make sure that the operation has a name associated with it. And then you need to make sure that the entry point is registered and you've installed the package. So I have actually done both of them. So in the entry points or txt. So this was actually okay. what Perfect. running the scale gave us. So I have added the input layer here. And also okay. the package was installed. Okay. Great. So okay, version data. Okay, and it's still not showing up. So the next thing I usually do is I do DF I do uh, I would do DFML space service space dev space entry points space list and then DFML dot operation so DFML service dev entry points list DFML dot operation and this will just show you all the registry operations so that um, you can verify. Okay, entry points list. If, oh, uh, no S. On the end. Uh, of operations. Just on the end of operations, no S. Leave it on entry points. No, leave, we, uh, it's it's entry points with an S and operations without an S. Or it's it's DFML dot operation. Okay, so input layer does exist and it is registered. Yep. So. All right, let's see. So let's see the data flow that's causing this. 
so this was the create data flow and this was the data flow which you have Put layer. Okay, put layer. So we have a one operation data flow, and the flow is okay. So the flow says get everything from seed. Okay. Um, and it says operation not instantiable. So. Uh, can you run it again with the uh, the, so the one that's like throwing an exception? A merge data flow to actually see what is the output. So this was the merge thing. Oh, okay. So you're running this. Okay. Yes. So. so All right, can we see the full trace back? Input layer was not found in blank. Can we scroll up on the logs? Okay. So we have a data flow source, and we have a data flow. Put layer is not instantiable. I put layer was not found in. Okay. Um, and okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to tell you right now. If it's showing up in, I mean, I would say, I would say, what I would start doing right now is, is, is going into the code that throws that exception and say, well, why is it throwing that exception? But I think that, yeah, like, let's open that. So actually, I looked into it. This part here, this operation implementation is actually an empty dictionary. Hmm. Like I tried to print it. Data flow operations, I know. And it was empty, I guess. Okay, so. So it attempts to instantiate it. So I think it's having a, I think it's having a problem instantiating that operation. Oh, I think I ran into this recently. So, let's see. Um, okay, it's not instantiable. So, what what is your file that has the operations in it look like? Oh, wait. So, yeah. So, that's none, but it's going to look at it's going to try to load it from the entry point. So, or let's see. Not instantiable was not found in blank. Okay. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, okay, so I would go to your operations py file. So this is the operation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the context. Okay. Okay. So, I think, 
I think this is due to an error in the load call of the entry point. I think I ran into this the other day. It doesn't throw the right exception or like it silently throws some exception if you're importing, if, if something happens when it tries to import this file. Um, can you run other operations from this file? Uh, yes, like the tests which I have written actually run fine. Okay. I wonder. Can you send me this patch and stuff? Uh, it's it's already up in uh, in my GitHub repo in random branch. Okay, great. Can you can you can you uh, can you yep. send me a Gitter message with that, and I'll take a look at it. Yes. Great, great. All right, and then I'm gonna. Do we have any final things, or else I'm gonna drop off now? And then that's it from my side. All right, so let's meet uh, on Friday. Yeah. I'd like to make sure of something. Yeah. Uh, so uh, basically what I'm going to do with the scorers is uh, just make it so that uh, we are, uh, you know, while we are instantiating the scorers, uh, we just send in the features like instantiate uh, models, the predict features. Yep. Right? Yep. And it should just That's be a change about from, it, right? yeah, it should just be a change from mctx.parent.config to self.parent.config when you're in the implementation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweet. Okay, uh, I misunderstood earlier. Sorry about no that. No worries, no worries. Yeah, it's confusing. We have a lot of stuff going on. So, <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank have a good one.